integrated circuit with this logic circuit diagram. We have the buffer, the inverter, we're going to see what is this. This is an inverter with a symbol of bubble into the tip of the last two are identical. Between Lane Road and Cross Patch Road. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. And we have a new circuit here. With the use of, with the help of our power supply. This is our new circuit. This is a RTL buffer gate using a resistor, transistor, and RTL technology. And it is believed to be a stone age. Dinosaur technology. So we have here we have here a resistors, one transistor, output LED, the power LED, and then the input LED, and we have the jumper settings for the power, also for the power input. Also, we have the jumper settings for the output. So, we have just uh, one input header and one output header. This is a RTL buffer gate. And this is, we're going to use this as an control system or an input to our second gate module which is the DTL diode transistor logic technology this is I believe invented in uh, 1940s 1950s time of the uh, Vietnam War and we have this some resistors here and then our power LED output LED a 2 1 and 4 series 0 1 diode 1 transistor input header and the output header so we got only two header here input and output so this is now our gating circuit that carries the final output we're going to connect the RTL the resistor transistor logic in series or as a control system to our gate circuit which is the DTL a technology that is based on diode transistor logic and uh, we're going to I'm going to show you the logic diagram so we have the input here our buffer gate is the RTL resistor transistor logic and the gating uh, circuit is this TTL inverter gate so the buffer gate is the one first to connect co that controls the output side or the DTL inverter gate this is now our logic diagram we're going to interconnect the two to make an integrated circuit using RTL technology and DTL the new technology okay
by the help of our towboat's power supply. So let us first connect our buffer gate. Our LED turns on. And then we're going to connect now the output. Uh, let us first uh, test the output LED if there's uh, an output. Okay, testing the output. We have the output here. It means the circuit is operate. This is an RTL buffer gate. No input, which is the yellow one. No input, no output. With input, with output. And now, since we test the output, we're now going to connect the the output. This output, the output of the first gate to the input of the DTL okay let us now connect the power supply Power LED turns on and at the same time the output is turning on. This is an inverter. No input with output. And it is connected to our RTL. Did you see that? So this one is a buffer gate. This is a inverter gate. Buffer inverter so when I push the button here still so we're going to connect now the output of the RTL to the input of the DTL So this is now the buffer gate and this is a an inverter gate. Inverts the signal. So when this one is zero, it becomes one into the inverter and it, when it is one here the input it becomes zero output so this is our new module the RTL is now integrated into the DTL technology
if you are interested on how the design how can I how did I design the circuit we're now going to see the circuit diagram of the two circuit this is now the circuit diagram we have two transistor at the input stage we got the RTN this is the buffer we got here a 5 volts or 12 volt supply it works on 5 volts and 12 volts and then we have a RD1 resistor connected also is the push button the LED also we have the base resistor RB1 and then this uh, Q1 transistor 1 2 and 3 9 or 4 and this part also connected is the collector resistor and this portion is a buffer stage just like this one a RTL buffer gate so our DTL gate now with carrying the load is this we have the resistor also connected to the 1N 4001 diode also the uh, base resistor here a diode 3 1N 4001 and then the collector resistor with transistor 2 2N 3904 and the output is taken here final output output stage we have the power LED connected so we're going to solve all the values of the resistors in the circuit by analyzing the current flow so let us now analyze the current law when you power on the circuit this is now the initial state of the circuit where the current flows we have the power supply into this node current flows into the RD1 this resistor to this resistor forward biasing this transistor since this is in a fixed bias configuration common emitter forward biasing the transistor making the current to flow into the collector resistor and to the ground and remember our input switch which is the voltage input is zero it means no output so as a buffer states a buffer, buffer gate no input without put so the current flows here saturating the transistor because the power bias also the current flows here since this is shorted to the ground now the current flows into this resistor RB2 into the D2 our diode DTL gate this part which is now the input side of the second gate the DTL gating circuit the input of this is the output of the RTL this node current flows into the resistor to the diode to the ground since this is saturated current will now will not flow here because this uh, portion this part is has a lesser resistance and the collector to emitter a saturation of this transistor is 0 0.3 volts while here it's uh, to turn on this transistor it should be 0.7 volts in the case of a silicon transistor plus the voltage drop across this uh, diode 1 and 4001 so the current choose to flow into this direction to the ground 
another current blows here into the collector why is it didn't blow here because this is saturated which makes this transistor to cut off to turn off so the current flows now into the output so as you have seen here it is on without applying an input pulse also current flows into the power LED so power LED turns on did you see that power LED turns on the same time power LED of the second stage turn on so we have a first KBL in the circuit BCC minus the voltage up at RBD5 and then to the D5 we got now here BCC minus BRD5 D5 is equal to 0 KBL since uh, the voltage drop at the LED is 2 volts to turn on the LED given in data sheet we got 3 volts in here since the current is in series we're now going to use Ohm's law B voltage at RD5 is equal to the current times resistance RD5 now is which is 3 volts divided by 0 0.02 they are in series current in series is equal current of the LED given in the data sheet 0 0.02 is equal to the current at RD5 so we got now 150 ohms but I use 220 ohms my available resistor that is the first KBL and we have this a truth table of a inverter gate I forgot this is inverter gate no input with output with output no input so we now come to the Q1 on LED A off okay Q1 on LED off we get another KBL here since Q1 on off Q2 off Q1 on Q2 off LED is off because there's no input we get another KBL here at the RC2 okay this part BCC voltage drop RC2 and then T4 2 volts again voltage rating of LED data sheet 3 volts using Ohm's law substitution 0 0.02 because at this state current flows here it means the current is in series with RC2 and D port both have the same current and the current rating of an LED is 0 0.02 we got 150 ohms and I use 220 ohms available aha we have a symbol for inverter gate here with a bubble at the tip of an arrow another one we have here a KBL at the R B2 D2 let us see that in the circuit also current flows at this node indicated by the arrow close to the RD2 to the D2 and to the ground CE ground so let us now use the KBL BCC minus the voltage drop RB2 voltage drop of D2 and the voltage drop of the transistor Q1 and saturation voltage drop at collector to emitter to the ground so we got now here aha 
and we're not yet uh, finished, huh? Okay. So what is now the BCC minus RC one? minus voltage D6 equal to 0 BCC minus uh, BD6 equals 0 so BCC 5 volts minus 2 volts equals 3 volts so this is 3 volts so we got now 3 volts and now let us now see another KBL into the circuit that is RD1 so we got another KBL here at this VCC uh, RD1 RB1 and to the ground base limiter to the ground using the KBL, BCC, RD1, BE, base to the cool base to emitter saturation. Since uh, the base to emitter saturation of this transistor is 0.95, I got this 4.05, the sum of the voltage at RB1 and RD1. So we get now the voltage of these two resistors okay let us now see another state so this is state now is when i'm applying a trigger power pulse pushing the button here we got now the first kbl at bcc to rd1 and to the t1 when i push the button current flows into the rd1 and to the switch and to the led to the ground making an KBL here we get this the same 5 volts 2 volts 3 volts ohms law the same since the current in series equal in series we did 2 LED in the resistor I've got 150 ohms or I use 220 ohms available so when you push the button here this transistor now is in cut up That is now cut up. Every time I push the button here, LED turns on. That is the LED that turns, the yellow one. Another KBL we have at this state at the RB2 to D2. Where is that? RB2 to D3 and to the base emitter saturation. We got also KBL here. Current will not flow in this direction because this is cut off. Remember, when I push the button, it turn off the transistor. So current will not flow here. Instead, current will flow into the RB2, the D3, and to the base emitter at saturation. Current will not flow here because this is cut off why I'm using a, a diode here to in order not to cancel the current flows or the current because if we're not using a diode here we've got the same uh, diode ratings 0 0.7 0 0.7 the two current will split into the two parts so I need to have this diode to make a much uh, have a much greater voltage drop so we got the current flow here bcc minus voltage of rb2 kbl bd3 and then to the base emitter so where is now that here rb2 d3 qbe base to in, uh, and into the data sheet of the transistor 0.95 volts the base emitter 
forward biasing this transistor making this transistor in saturation we got 3.35 volts okay uh-huh not that one so after uh, computing for the rb2 since we need to compute for the current in order to know the value of rb2 so by using the current gain since this uh, circuit configuration is dependent on the current gain of the transistor we're now going to use the current gain formula icq2 ibq2 ic isat over irb2 id4 irb2 as you have seen here current flows into the rc2 into the ce to set and will not flow here current did not flow here once you push the button because the voltage drop at ce is lesser and the resistance is lesser than the voltage rating of an led which is two volts here it's only point three collector to emitter so using the hp current gain icq2 collector current is equal to the collector to emitter at saturation which is equal to the current at d4 when why because we're going to compute the base uh, the resistor collector based on the current that flows into the LED base on this load so the current uh, collector current here is 0 0.02 which is the current that flows into the LED we computed we're going to compute that and the base resistor is this RB2 at this state we're now using this RB2 as a base resistor this RB2 so we get now the current of transposition and then the substitution calculation 0 0.002 ampere current load to Q CE due to the lesser voltage and resistance rating okay using Ohm's law since we know the voltage drop across RB2 and the current using current gain will now have this 16,750 ohms pulse 16.5 I'm using 16.5 resistor based on the LED load 0 0.02 ampere so the value of the base resistor here depends on the calculated value of the load resistor or the collector resistor see the uh, the collector resistor is equal to the collector to emitter at saturation almost and it is equal to 0 0.03 this is now saturated due to the applying the triggering pulse okay now we get now this our uh, circuit logic circuit and we get this uh, truth table for the circuit RTN if there's no input zero and uh, passing to the inverter gates B1 it becomes one so the final output is one when there's an input one it inverts the signal when you pass this into the DTL gate which is the inverter it inverts the signal becomes zero so we're we know the value of this 220 or 150 ohms 150 ohms I'm using 220 also the value of RB2 RC1 here so where to use where we're going to to see that RC1 are you ready to okay rd1 rb1 and then let us now see another symbol for the buffer gate this is the symbol for buffer gate no input no output with input with output to table 
the buffer gig. Okay, we're now going to solve for the RB1. Where is that? RC1. Okay. RC1. Using the equation 1. RB1 plus RD1 is 4.03 volts. So, in terms of IR substitution, since the current is in series, this one RB1, RD1, and RB1. Since we know that RD1 is uh, 220 ohms by substitution, see, but in terms of IR. Ohm's law. Since the current here is equal to the current here, we are now going to compute for the value of RB1 using the formula and then substitution IR since the same current in series RB1 IRB1. We get now this the value of RB1 19. 1930 or 19.5 K. I'm using this value. Okay. So what else? Do we compute everything here? Okay. I'm using the value of 220 ohms for the value of the resistor RC1. It's almost the same as the collector resistor since we're going to compute for that because the current flows at RC1 is equal oh, equal to the collector emitter saturation due during this uh, state did you see that during this state so if that is the current and we get this value 3 volts and we know the current here at this uh, state we're going to compute for the RC1 which is equal to 270 ohms but I'm using 220 ohms my available resistor and now we have this a complete values of all the resistors RD1 220 this is 220 RB2 16.5 RC2 220 we get the load output power LED 220 1N 401 D2 D3 resistor uh, transistor 2 transistor 1 base resistor 19.5 the switch here and we have this my layout using the header you're going now to patch the header depends on the mode this is now the supply and then we're going to if you're going to patch the output to the input of another this is the DF inverter gate layout the output the DTL and then we got this buffer gate that is the RT11 buffer gate so we are complete we successfully making an integrated circuit using the RTL and the DT okay Thank you for watching the video. Bye.